What's up guys, Michaela Vernava alongside Doug Kide at Gillette Stadium where the Patriots are preparing for a week seven matchup against the Atlanta Falcons and Doug, Dion Lewis through the first six weeks of the season has been looking really good and really getting a lot of playing time. And of course this Patriots running back core is pretty loaded, but Rex Burkhead has been out with an injury and Mike Gillisley, he's still been solid. So why do you think Lewis is getting the reps that he is? I think it's just because he's playing so well and he is the kind of big play threat there at running back. He's the only running back on this roster who has an explosive play. He ran for 31 yards a few weeks back and he's I said it before, he's their most special back just because he can make guys miss in a phone booth, I guess is, is the term to use. That It's so hard to tackle him. He runs with power for a small frame. He's got to be one of the most annoying running backs to, to try to go against each week just because he does have that range of skill. And he's playing like he did back in 2015. He's showing off that same quickness, that same speed. So I think that while he's playing as well as he is, that's why he's getting the increased reps that he is. And it's kind of funny that even a few weeks back, we were talking about a potential Dion Lewis trade. And now he's their best running back right now. Yeah, he's shifty too. Very shifty. Just weaves in and out of the defense. And I know, must be a menace for oh a, opposing yeah. defenses. But when he's good, he really is so good. You think about that Texans game, the playoff yeah. game here at Gillette Stadium where he went off for three touchdowns. And when he's making plays, they're big plays, they're flashy plays. They're kind of those fun to watch plays. Yeah. Talk about an eye test. Mm -hmm. That is certainly pleasing to the eye type of football, but he does of course have this terrible, terrible injury history. Do you think he's a guy the Patriots can rely on down the stretch? That's gonna be tough. I think that it is like a ticking time bomb to be using him maybe as much as they are as both the kick returner and as, as really their starting running back, which was how they used him against the Jets. I think it's smart to do this until the offense really starts clicking on a week to week basis. We haven't seen that in the last couple of weeks. The offense has struggled a little bit, but once that offense starts clicking, once Mike Gillisley starts ripping off long runs, maybe they can reduce Lewis's playing time a little bit and then ramp it back up for the playoffs when they really need him again to go up against some of the best teams. So I think they will continue to manage his workload but while he's running well and while the offense needs a spark I think now is the time to use him sparingly but still enough to get that spark going well hopefully we've just hit the quota with the football gods on injuries this season because not just the Patriots Ooh. widespread throughout the NFL big names going down so yeah let's just I guess hope we don't see any more of those Absolutely. and maybe Dion Lewis will be safe be nice. keep it on Nesson.com for all your Patriots news